But for developing news, the man who pleaded guilty to killing beloved L.A. philanthropist T. Jacqueline Avance has learned his fate. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tom Waite. This is KCAL 9 News at 4, streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. A judge threw the book at a career criminal who shot and killed an 81-year-old music mogul's wife. Jacqueline Avant was shot in the back. KCAL 9's Joy Benedict is live in downtown L.A. with details on the case and the tough sentence. Hi, Joy. Yeah, Tom, I mean, this was certainly a case that's really rocked the community, not only in Beverly Hills, but throughout Los Angeles County, hearing of this woman in her 80s shot and killed in her own home. And as you said, today, a judge threw the book at the man responsible. This is a photo from inside the courtroom of the person now found guilty and sentenced in that death. It's Ariel Maynor, and he was sentenced today to get this 190 years to life in that L.A. County court, time he will spend in a state prison. Now, Maynard pleaded guilty for murdering that Beverly Hills philanthropist and attempting to murder her security guard as well as carrying a weapon. Jacqueline Avant was murdered in her home back on December the 1st. Prosecutors say that it was actually Maynard that broke into her Beverly Hills home, killing the 81-year-old and again also shooting a security guard who was not injured. And later that night, prosecutors argued that Maynard then shot himself actually Accidentally, while breaking into a house in the Hollywood Hills, all before being arrested. Prosecutors say this guilty plea and this lengthy sentence will ensure that this family does not have to relive her death and this case over and over and over again because there is no way he is getting out when you're sentenced to 190 years to life. Yeah, I think that the family obviously wanted the highest level of accountability to keep this person away from their community and. and and, and I believe that we gave that. And again, look, nothing is going to be true closure here, right? This pain will go on forever for the Avant family. What we're trying to do is mitigate that and do the best we can to give them the accountability that they deserve and that the rest of the community deserves. Now, obviously, there was a lot of question in the community surrounding this case about why Maynor was not put up for possibility of the death penalty. That was something that the prosecutors talked about in length. Obviously, when someone is now sentenced to 190 years, the family doesn't have to keep reliving this case over and over and over again. That is required when you're doing some sort of a capital offense type of case when you sentence someone to death. And this way, it ensures, prosecutors say, that there's no possibility of parole and hopefully this family can move on if that's even possible. I'll send it back to you, Tom. All right. Thanks, Joy.